ESPN NASCAR analyst and three-time Daytona 500 champion Dale Jarrett joins us. And Dale, you were on the track that day 10 years ago when Dale Earnhardt passed. What are your memories of that day? Well, I'd been in an accident already that day and we were just trying to finish the race out. So in doing that, I was able to look at the scoreboard and, and see just what a terrific day it seemed to be adding up for Dale Earnhardt Incorporated and for Dale knowing how proud he was of putting this team together. And here he had Michael Waltrip, who he had pegged as his driver there, and his son Dale Jr. battling for the win, and he was right there with them. I, I passed through the accident, looked literally as harmless as, as any that you have seen here, much, much uh, less of an accident than many other things we'd seen, and everybody walk away, things that I'd been involved in. So I, my family knowing that I was going to be ready to leave, as a lot of drivers are when you have a bad day. They were in the car and ready to go, and I, I jumped in the car. We headed to the airport thinking that, that everything was okay. I passed Dale Jr., and I said, your dad okay? And he said, yeah, I think so. And, and that was all that I had and went to the airport, went to Hickory. And, uh, but when I landed in Hickory, a couple of people that worked for me personally were there and I knew when I saw them there that, that it was not a good situation. But I was so excited that my friend Michael Waltrip had gotten this opportunity and gone to Victory Lane. And then obviously all of that changed in a hurry. Mm, so bittersweet. Uh, how has the loss, Dale, of Dale Earnhardt affected NASCAR in the last 10 years? Well, it, uh, the positive ways that, that it affected, obviously we accelerated a lot of changes that were in place uh, being put into place, safety issues and, and safety uh, factors, the, the safer barriers, the Hans device, a lot of things came from this. Drivers, teams, manufacturers all started looking and working together in a positive way to make these cars and the drivers inside safer and, and able to withstand crashes. So all of those were good things that happened. But on the other side of it, we all lost our hero. I don't care who you were. If you had the opportunity to race with and against Dale Earnhardt, even if he had been knocked around by him and, and beat by Dale Earnhardt, he, he was still your hero because he was the ultimate competitor. And, and we had a voice there that that voice was Dale Earnhardt, and he could make things happen in this sport. And he always had the best interest of this sport at heart. And he, he was just a, a true American hero to us, and we had him no longer. Before I let you go, Dale, can you share with us your favorite personal memory of Dale Earnhardt? <laughs> well, there's a lot. You know, I, I think about just the tremendous talent that he had, and we could go on and on about races and, and things that he did with race cars that nobody else did. And I could tell you about stories personally that of things when I won my championship, how he uh, let me use an airplane, didn't charge me anything to get a lot of people to New York. But I think the, the best thing is sitting talking with Dale Earnhardt and how proud he was of his family, not just Dale Jr., but Kerry and Kelly and everyone, uh, obviously Taylor too. But I think the thing that comes to mind most is when Dale Jr. won that first race and seeing Dale Sr. there hugging his neck and just how proud he was. He, he, was, he was so much more of a family person than a lot of people got to see that side of him. And I think that's the thing that, that I take in knowing what a, a great heart that he had and what a tremendous competitor he was. Thank you for sharing that. That is ESPN NASCAR analyst Dale Jarrett on the life of Dale Earnhardt.